Our time with White Magic actually began in 2012 on a family sailing holiday travelling up the east coast in our boat at the time, Muskrat Ramble, a Beneteau 32 S5. During this holiday, we had spent some time in Suffolk Yacht Harbour and during the many walks and wanderings that sailors tend to do around marinas, we came across White Magic sitting on the hard. Ian actually took a sneaky peek on board at the time to see how it compared to Muskrat Ramble. Now skip forward 18 months and we have just sold Muskrat Ramble and are on the lookout for a yacht to replace her. We knew what we wanted, but finding something that ticked all the boxes was proving difficult. The new boat had to do everything that Muskrat did, but in addition, we would like it to be a capable and competitive racer as well, and all this within our budget, which whilst not small, fell a long way short of most of the boats that caught our eye. Then we came across the ad for White Magic. She was a Genoa Sunfast 32i, and as we remembered how good she looked when we'd last seen her, we got in touch with the broker. She seemed perfect. She was a well thought out design that made good use of space, came complete with a telly for Izzy and heating for me, and a complete set of North 3DL racing sails for Ian. When we went to view her, we found that she hadn't been touched in all this time and was still sitting in the same place on the hard, looking a bit sorry for herself. However, a couple of months later and after much negotiating, we brought her and set about the task of making her seaworthy once again. Here we go, we're driving to our new boat. Over the bad bits, and now he's going to paint the hole at the bottom. And wasn't overly pleased to find that that is full of water, and that is full of disgusting water. Oh dear, this is full of water as well. Oh. Look, this is absolutely full of water. Okay, end of day one. I've left all the floorboards up so it can dry. She's got a nice clean bum, Looking pretty good. That summer we spent most weekends on her, sometimes just sailing, other times racing and occasionally spending a quiet weekend at anchor and not forgetting taking her on holidays with family and friends. Like the first sail we had bringing her home to the Medway. We were blessed with flat seas but no wind, but it was a great chance to charge up the batteries and to check that everything worked. In the deck, one point, oh my days, one metre, can I film it? I don't normally look, do I Ian? I normally go below and pretend nothing's happening. <laughs> oh shut up. I hate this boat and the Montgomery. I'm scared about it even where we live because I'm sure the tidal wave could wipe us all out. <laughs> It's full of explosives. Really quite scary. Quite eerie on all this cloud and fog. Kinto, Kinto, this is white magic over. <laughs> oh well, we shouldn't be far away then. We're just coming up to the um, estuary. So we're not racing because we can't turn our engine off. Then there was the club cruise to Burnham over the Maybank holiday weekend. For this, we had not such flat seas, but a nice breeze for Ian. The trouble was we couldn't switch our engine off as it may not have started again due to a faulty starter relay. It's not so bad if you're on deck, but here we go, everybody. These events to help you stop being seasick. Yeah, they're working very well. Right, here it 
because it's a racing boat. <laughs> I think you would quite like it spray here at the moment. <laughs> we have the sails up for the first time. I don't know what many degrees it is. The dog, bless her heart, was fine asleep till Elizabeth woke her up. And uh, <laughs> she's now, is he, hold on. What angle are we even? <laughs> kind of that, that's strange. Oh yeah, there's a storm over there. We also had three weeks cruising up the east coast with Nanny and Grandad on their boat, Pintail. This feels incredibly weird to be drawing two meters and be that near the river and rocks. Let's not forget. Elizabeth has the biggest marshmallow in the world. Check it out. <laughs> Mum just stole my marshmallow. <laughs> hit the bar, they've broken their engine, they can't rev it very well now, they're under sail, they're hopefully out of danger too much now. Dog was sick, Izzy wasn't sick, Daddy wasn't sick, Mummy wasn't sick, but apparently Nanny was sick. for two months and I am going to conquer it. During the year, we raced her when we could, but due to a lack of babysitters, Ian often raced her alone or with our friend Tony. We won the cruiser class and came second overall in the Medway Yacht Club Wednesday night series. We came joint second, although third on countback, in the Medway Cruising Club Burton series. We won the Montgomery race at the Medway Yacht Club and we came second in the Medway Yacht Club Maximum series. In October, I lost a long-term contract that I had in Who, where we live. I'm a locum optician, and as Ian's money pays the bills, and my money pays for the toys, we thought it was best to be sensible, and rather than leaving our savings bobbing around on the River Medway, we thought we should sell White Magic and pay a lump off the mortgage, just in case. For the final few races, we were lucky enough to have a babysitter and a good crew of five. In the final race, knowing that we had sold her, we switched the crew around, letting everyone try something new. And so that was it. The end of a great year owning, sailing, racing and cruising a great boat. It was hard making the decision to sell her, even though it was the right thing to do. 
not just because I get attached to boats, but also because for us, White Magic really was the perfect boat, and we know it will be really hard to find another one with such a perfect mix of pleasurable cruising boat, family caravan, and out-and-out racer. I'm sure the new owners are going to have as much fun with her as we have. Meanwhile, we are going to try something different. So bye-bye video camera. Bye-bye white man.